And what's your name and position here? Officer, you said you were going to find out if we can record. I'm not harassing anyone, ma'am. Ma'am, let's not waste resources. I'm not wasting resources. You're wasting resources. But that's not a that's not a crime. Why would you call the police? Because you're harassing me. No, ma'am, I just asked for your name. So if I want to make a complaint on someone, you guys are not going to be transparent? We're transparent. Well, it doesn't sound like it, ma'am. It seems like you're not being transparent, so I need that's why I need your boss. So she really shouldn't be working in the public then. Yeah, she, she's just fine to work in the public. She shouldn't be, though, is what I'm saying. She shouldn't be. So just do me a favor. Keep your guys' body cams on, though. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna, if you're still confronting with them, though, so I can be able to request that. You can request that. I can turn it off though whenever I want to. Yeah. So, well, you're supposed to on any any call of service. You're actually supposed to have it on. It's transparency. Transparency. Yeah, but they're she's still you're still on the same call. So do me a favor, keep it on. If you don't, then I'll have to file a complaint on you, and I don't want to do that. You don't care, do you? You don't care, huh? Okay. Welcome back, everyone. You're here today with your boy, Anthony X. And today we're back in the beautiful Monterey Bay, Pacific Grove, California, at the City Hall. Today we're going to be walking around this public building, making sure they honor and respect my rights to take pictures and video in public and work on my story in peace. That being said, let's just get right into it. Oh yeah, and no bootlicking. Unless that's your thing, then clean those fucking boots. I mean, who am I to judge? Kind of makes it difficult to see everything when they put everything so high up on the wall. Kind of funny how the paintings are at eye level, but their pictures with their names are almost by the ceiling. Hello. I'm just taking a quick tour. I don't, uh, we don't authorize recording. Oh, you don't? No. How would I go about getting it authorized? Uh, we can go through the city park. I can give them a call for you. Sure. What's your name, sir? Um, just a guy with a camera. Is that like a new policy or something? Just curious. No, I just don't authorize recording. Oh, you don't authorize it, so it's not, it's not city policy. Well, I don't know. I'm checking with city park, sir. Gotcha, gotcha. He just said it wasn't authorized. That's why I was wondering. I was a little confused. I don't want to break any laws or anything. That's why I'm checking for you, sir. Perfect. Appreciate you. And what's your name and position here? Which is public record, ma'am? The public records are handled through city parks office. Yeah, but your 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 information is public record as well. What's your name and title? So refusing to identify, guys. We'll be making a complaint with the city manager and mayor. City Hall finance office on the first floor, please. Pacific Grove. Pacific Grove. Okay. Yeah, I'm checking with the city clerk for the city clerk's office. I need you to send an officer, please. Officer? You said you were going to find out if we can record. I can't reach the city clerk's office right now. There's a gentleman who can't record me and her house again. I'm not harassing anyone, ma'am. I just asked you for your name. Unreal, guys. No. Ma'am, let's not waste resources. I'm not wasting resources. You're wasting resources. But that's not a that's not a crime. Why would you call the police? Because you're harassing me. No, ma'am. I just asked for your name. That's not harassment. Yeah, I, I was just taking a tour, and she started calling the armed men on me okay. for peacefully recording. So the first thing I did is I entered in very peacefully. I wasn't harassing anyone. She's now making 
false accusations, which is a false police report saying I'm harassing people. She said she, no, no, I'm letting you know from what happened from the beginning. So I walk in peacefully, just minding my own business recording. She did the right thing at first, asked if I needed any help. I'm like, no, I'm just taking a tour. And I said, guy with a camera, I'm not required to give you a name. You won't even give me your name, ma'am. And you're a city worker. You work for me. I work for the taxpayers, sir. I pay taxes. So again, so I, I was, so she said she was going to check with the clerk because she said I'm not allowed to record. And then I guess she couldn't get a hold of the clerk. So now she says she's going to call the police, armed men and women to come and violate my rights. So at this point, what I need is her name or employee number. That's your supervisor. It is. Audrey. Perfect. I'm Anthony. So I need, so I'm going to, I need a complaint form now at this point. A complaint, complaint. Okay, because who, who's her boss? Who's her, are you her boss? Okay, so and who's your boss? Tori. Do you have his card by any chance with a neat or her car? Sorry, apologies. If you can, if you can do me a favor and write her email and her information, perfect. And a complaint form if you have it. And if I was to make a complaint on her, how would I address her then? Like, if you don't want to give me her name, like, does she have an employee number? Or? So if I want to make a complaint on someone, you guys are not going to be transparent? We're absolutely transparent. Well, it doesn't sound like it, ma'am. She's a public servant. I pay for her to be here. Ma'am, not when you're a public worker. Your salary, everything you do, your write-ups is public record. I'm not here for that. How do I make a complaint on her then? Well, it, doesn't, it seems like you're not being transparent, so I need, that's why I need your boss. So she really shouldn't be working in the public then. Yeah, she's, she's just fine to work in the public. Like, she shouldn't be, though, is what I'm saying. Okay. So she shouldn't be. Okay. And how come you guys aren't wearing name badges? Is it not, is it, it's not written in your policy? There you go. There's her email address. Uh, Perfect. All right, guys, here's the director's email and phone number if any of you would like to voice your concerns. If you do reach out, I do ask that you please do so cordially and, of course, of your own free will. Let them know we the people are watching. And so, again, sir, how can I help you? I already explained what I needed. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Wasting resources, unreal. Well, I want to know. So it's a weird, I have a weird request. Do you want to ignore that? I feel like something. She's the one that called, but just so you know. A lot of places, they, as they weather, they... Unreal guys calling police officers for a guy with a camera. They look disappointed, guys. This is uh, where they're getting educated on our First Amendment. And I came in peacefully, guys. How's it going, gentlemen? How you doing, man? Good, good. Can I get uh, both your names and badge numbers for the record, please? It's, uh, Sergeant Perez. Perez. I like the name tags there. Mm -hmm. A lot of departments have those little tiny badges that are super hard to see with any glare. Uh, clear for you to see. Perez and uh, Hankins. Hanks. 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 Right, perfect. So you know what you're doing. You're allowed to record in a public space. I, I suggested that she doesn't waste or consume resources, but you guys are just next door, so I guess it's not the end of the world. Right. But um, it is what it is. So if you're going to film in a public space and ask for official stuff, you can go ahead and do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Uh, so is yeah, there I'm anything specific you want from them I can help out with? Um, well, I did want a complaint form. Um, she didn't have a complaint form readily available. She did give me this... Uh, Email I'm gonna, which is her boss. So that would have been gone in 30 seconds, but because she started saying I can't record in a public space, she refuses to identify. She falsified a police report saying I'm harassing her. That's not acceptable. And um, could one of you guys uh, write the incident number for me too on a on a card, an incident card, please? An incident number? Yeah. Well, we're not call number incident. Or anything like that. Um, well, there should be a call number. So how would I? Is your body cam on? When yeah, you guys are doing this? So um, I need to be able to request that. So if you guys could generate an incident number, I'd appreciate it. Okay. We can get you a cat number. Or cat number. Every yeah. department has a right different... There's no report. It's just a gotcha. conversation. With gotcha. Okay. 
And do you have a business card by any chance? I do. If I can get one, I'd appreciate your help. And you guys did, uh, I, I couldn't quite hear through the glass. I heard part of it, but you did let, explain to them, hey, I'm perfectly lawful to be here. So yeah, we talked about what's a public space and Perfect. recording. I'm not going to be going in any restricted areas. Yeah, so that's what we were just talking about as far as public space. You are allowed to record in a public space. But as long as you're not like trying to zoom in, telescope yeah. in, things like that. Yeah. But well, I can zoom in, but like just to, just to clarify that, I mean, I'm not here to do that. That's not my intention. I'm, I'm not here to get people's personal information. However, the onus, the buck stops there. If, if I'm able to see it, I'm able to record it. So they need to make sure that I'm not able to see anything. Is there anything else we can help you with? No, on? I got the incident number or cat number. I appreciate it. You guys identified properly. I appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful day. All right, man. All right. Very professional. Appreciate it. Just do me a favor. Keep your guys' body cams on, though. Well, I don't need it on. If yeah. I it, well, if you're gonna, if you're still confronting with them, though, so I can be able to request that. You can request that. I can turn it off though whenever I want to. Yeah. So, it, right? well, you're supposed to on any any call of service. You're actually on. Right. It's I transparency. Have, transparency. Yeah, but you're tra she's still. You're still on the same call. So do me a favor. Keep it on. If you don't, then I'll have to file a complaint on you, and I don't want to do that. You can do that, but I can turn it off. You don't care, do you? You don't care, huh? Okay. All right, guys. Basic guidelines for officer-worn body cameras under the Law Enforcement Officer-Worn Body Camera Act, body cameras must be turned on at all times when responding to a call for service. The purpose of these body cameras is for transparency. Where's the transparency if the officer can turn it off at his or her discretion? Think about that, guys. If they're not doing anything wrong, there's no reason to turn the camera off. It's that simple. A camera is a subjective witness and can be a good cop's best friend or a bad cop's worst nightmare. So when this sergeant tells me he can turn off the body camera at any time of his own free will at his own discretion while he's still getting paid by the people and on top of that he's still on the call for service really makes me question his integrity or is it just his ego? You decide. Let me know in the comment section. Let's continue. about the complaint if we have formal complaint or complaint paperwork or even complimentary paperwork um, at the police department so if you want to fill that out as far as what even though it's a separate department or entity it's i can still fill it out and bring it back for here well it's still city of pacific grove so okay. yeah you can fill it out there and then we can just you can bring it here yourself you can give it to us we can bring it over perfect you can even uh, mail it in however gotcha. you want all right take care guys take it easy. Educated. Waste of resources, but educated. So I guess it's worth it in my, in my opinion. Just a recommendation though. Um, I would recommend having a uh, public records request forms and complaint forms readily available out here in the lobby. Most city offices I go to have those. No, yeah. But this Cal California law, though, just so you know, and I'm well versed in this, yeah. um, requires any department, any person, like even her, you, um, to take the complaint, then you guys file it with the proper channels okay. on there. So most of my, it's just a recommendation, you know, okay. it's up to you. It's up to you. We're good now, right? Semi good. I still got to file my complaint. File your complaint. I'm not looking to get her fired or anything. Yeah, I'm not looking for her to get fired. I would like her to be reprimanded, though. Wow. And when I say reprimanded, in the sense, however you see fit, but educated on, hey, it's just a camera. He has a right to record. Let's identify properly. Let's give them the service they deserve that we pay for. I just wanted her name so I could say hello and goodbye. I know, I know. But it's, I'm going like to honor her Well, you know, ma'am, you are her supervisor, though. She yeah. works for the public. I know, and I'm going to she, her. If she's not, if she's not comfortable, then you, I'm not going to... And, I, and I respect that, but then just another recommendation then, ma'am? She shouldn't be the point of contact in the front office then. Oh, right. If she's not willing to identify, why have her? All right, take care. Hopefully, we'll do better next time because yeah. there will be a next time. Got it, I got it. City manager, let's see if this room is open. It is open, guys. Okay. Check in here. Got a little office. 
Hello. It says check in here. You're supposed to check in here or is this a... Just check in okay. and I can rob you. Gotcha. Certificate of appreciation. That's definitely not for the downstairs finance department. That's for sure. They did not like me recording, guys. They put my life in jeopardy. City clerk's office right here. Hello. Hi. Got the city manager's office. He's over here. He's got one of those little stand-up desks. Hello. Hi there. Got some cool artwork over here, guys. Let's grab a business card because we will be making some complaints on the downstairs on the way we were treated and put our life in jeopardy. And I was just wondering if you could tell me what your policy is on number one, identifying to members of the public working the city, for the city. The city's policy? Oh yeah, like for example, the downstairs clerk, um, she started off very well. She's, hello, do you need any help? Mm -hmm. um, in the finance department. Mm -hmm. um, I explained, oh no, I'm okay. I was very nice. I'm I was speaking to her like I'm speaking to you. Mm -hmm. um, I just told her I'm taking a little tour and I'll be out of your way. No big deal. Mm -hmm. Their office is extremely small, the lobby. Nice. I would have been gone in like 30 seconds. But then as soon as I said that, she went from like just a 180 degree turn and started saying, oh, you can't record in here. I'm going to call the clerk. And I'm like, okay, call the clerk. I guess she tried calling the clerk. They didn't answer. Whatever reason, she decided to call armed men and women on me or the police, mm -hmm. consuming resources and putting my life in jeopardy if I would have got a rogue cop. Number one, not identifying properly. Number two, calling the police on a guy with a camera. To me, seems unacceptable. I, you know, I'll just candidly, I've been, I've been in some meetings. I, I'm not aware of what took place yeah. downstairs. I can certainly look into it. Happy to do that. Um, you know, our, our policy is we accommodate, uh, okay. of course, for some amount of this. It's, exactly. I'll be able to follow up with that right okay. now. I'll so email you. Something, but I'll email you. Grab my card. Feel free to send me an email. Yeah. I'm happy to look into it. Happy to. And just a recommendation if they could possibly get name badges or placards on their station and maybe business cards. They said they don't have business cards. Um, not every single city employee has business cards. That's yeah. true. Um, it would just be nice, you know, our minimum have them have a name badge on and identify properly. Hey, I'm so and so. I'm Cindy with a. How can I help you? You know, I'm not looking for their home address or. We, we try to provide uh, customer service. I, I don't know that it's necessar necessarily, you know, required that the person, you know, provide their name in order to do that. Well, under California transparency laws, I mean, how can I, like, for example, I wanted to fill out a complaint form on her. How can I do that if I don't know who she is? So, so I can give you a for instance. And having to go all the way to the PD to get a complaint form doesn't seem right. Sure. So, so we, I, I try, I don't try to create additional bureaucracy, so I don't need you to, fish, to fill out an official complaint form if you wanted to send me an email. Okay. You've got my word that I'll... And I'm not looking to get her in trouble or anything. You know, she started off on the right foot, like I said. She was very nice. I don't, I don't think that she... It was just a simple fact that she called the police on me and wouldn't identify. And I, I would have to look into it. You know, perhaps she felt... Scared or threatened or who knows what. I, I don't know. I wasn't there. I, I, you know, I mean, I, I'll, I'll give a look in. I mean, if she was scared, why would she stay there right in front of me then? She would have left. I, I <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. I know you weren't there. I get it. You just tell me about it. I, I could look into it. I'm happy to do that. So I'm just curious. And on your, uh, I, I haven't pulled up your guys' uh, your city uh, employee policy manual yet. Um, assuming you have one there. Most departments do. Um, what is your policy on identifying as far as when you're working for the public? We don't have a specific policy that says... We don't have a specific policy that says... We don't have a specific policy that says... There's nothing written in? Comes in that you must give your, your first name or your last name. Or, or, or an employee ID or yeah. no, we don't, we don't. no name tags or anything of that nature? We do not have an official policy in that area. Okay. Again, we're a very small organization. You know, we... You know, I think, you know, customer service is one of our hallmarks. We try to help people with whatever their need is and... You know, I might be asked to come help somebody with a need in right. development or, you know, uh, finance or whatever. And, 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 and everybody tries to, to work together for that. So we're not, we're not a big organization. We don't, you know, I don't think yeah, it's yeah. really necessary that everybody... My, my, my request to you then would be just right here verbally, um, rather than emailing, is just if we could possibly bring it up at your next meeting or I don't know if you're the one to make a decision. I don't, I don't know. That I think really people should have name to, tags on for I, transparency. You know, I don't, I don't think that I'm really... Comfortable with people knowing who works here? That's not it. That's not the. That's not the concern. You know, I, what I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't know that I'm going to you know, go and you know because of this visit mandate everybody to wear a name badge. How or or have a name placard or business card. Put all your concerns in an email and I'll and I'll respond to them. I'm happy to do that. Okay. Yeah. I'll definitely. I, I'll, I, I definitely need to finish what I'm working. All on. All right. Hey, I appreciate you. Take care. No problem. Take okay. care. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, guys, there you have it. Pacific Grove, California City Hall. What are your thoughts? Pass 
or fail. You be the judge. Let me know in the comment section. In my opinion, because of the point of contact at the front desk refusing to identify and then calling the police, putting my life in jeopardy, they're definitely getting a fail. On top of that, where's the transparency, guys? No one's required to wear name badges. They're not required to identify. I mean, if I need to make a complaint or I want to pull up someone's salary, what am I supposed to do? Just guess? Come on now. We need transparency, guys. These are public workers getting paid by the public dime. We have a right to know this. On top of that, although I do appreciate the city manager taking time out of his schedule to speak with me, however, again, where's the transparency? He's the city manager. It's his job to implement these policies. And how he does it is definitely up to him to decide, but there needs to be transparency, whether it means keeping nameplates on their desk, maybe having business cards readily available for members of the public, wearing name badges, or simply identifying like a true professional when a member of the public requests that information. But that's just my opinion, guys. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if you want to voice your concerns to the city manager, I do ask that you do so cordially and, of course, of your own free will. That being said, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah. No bootlicking. Pacific Grove, California, City Hall, out of here, guys. Peace.